who play Wickham Wanderers next Saturday. And I'm delighted to say the man who got them there joins us now. That's the former Finn Harps and Derry City player, Stephen McLaughlin. Good evening, Stephen. Tell us about the game against Stevenage and that goal, first of all. Good evening. Um, yeah, well, first of all, I was very disappointed you know, to be uh, to be starting the game, but once I got on the pitch, you know, I I, uh, I had a thing to prove, that a point to prove to them, as they say, and thankfully I think I, I think I've done that. You have Michael, Timlin, Kean Bolger, Barry Corr and Gary Deegan all on the books there as well, of course. So, uh, quite an Irish scene, as we were saying. Yeah, there's a good few Irish lads there. Um, they're not bad, bad bunch of fellas. You know, they uh, settled me in well here when I first came. And uh, one of the, actually, Deegan set me up for my first for my first goal here at South End. So, the Irish lads are, are proving to be, uh, proving to be a success down here. Are you hopeful of a start at Wembley now, following your exploits? That's what I'm hoping anyway, as I said, I kind of a point to prove when I went after being dropped from the first leg. And I think I'd done that when I went on, you know, I set up the first goal and, and uh, obviously scored scored to make it 2-1. When you look back at your time at, at the Brandywell, were there fond memories for you, I'm sure? They are fond memories. Uh, I won two cups there, got bit in one as well, so I had a, had a fairly successful season there. Stephen, as you know, the football community here has, has rallied round Mark Farron. I'm sure you'd like to add your voice to all those who've wished him well. Exactly. You no, know, he's a top bloke and he deserves all the support that he's getting at the minute. And all I can say is I urge people to, to keep donating for him because he's a top bloke and, and uh, I, hope he, I hope he gets on all the best. And the future for you, Stephen. You're officially a Nottingham Forest player on loan to Southern at the moment. What would you like to happen now? Obviously, we'd like you to, to, to win at Wembley. And after that? Well, after that, I don't know what's happening. You know, I go back to Forest and then just have a couple of words with the manager and, and, and see what the future holds and, and take it from there. Well, Stephen, it's been a pleasure talking to you and the best of luck to you and indeed all the other Irish lads at Wembley on Saturday. Thanks very much. Thank you. And that's just